the phrase, this too shall pass, is one of those things that, you know, sometimes when somebody tells you that, you just want to push them over <laughs> or shake them and say, I know, I know, but I want to be in my stuff. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like putting a bag over your head. <laughs> I know. I can't believe I did that last week. However, it's true. This too shall pass. Sometimes, even as an enlightened person, we just feel like running away. We feel overwhelmed. We feel bitter. We feel angry. We feel like an emotional letdown from a big, huge event that's happened, like the Visionaries in Light Convergence in September. We feel a, a little depression. We feel something that's not common for us, common for us. Uh, and yet we all go through that, no matter how enlightened you may believe that you are. When that happens, you have several choices that you can make. And it will happen. So you might as well be prepared for it. One choice. You can yell and scream and call all your friends and tell them how horrible everything is and how wah, 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 and cry and be upset and angry and tell all your friends and your relatives this. That doesn't necessarily serve because they're going to triangulate. They're going to join in and say, yeah, you poor thing, and encourage you to feel that way. So then the feeling gets bigger. I recommend one friend that you can express anything you want to in safety. You can express all those little ego things that you need to express to get out of the way. That you, And that friend may be your journal. <laughs> That may, friend may be yourself, or there may be another human that you have that special kind of relationship with that they're not going to buy into your trauma drama, your triggering that you're experiencing of the mo at the moment. They're going to listen, and they're not going to fix it. They may ask you questions to clarify how it is that you're feeling. They may help you find the core or the root of it. Or they may just listen and say, well, thank you for sharing. Have a nice day. This too shall pass. You see, that's one option. Another option is to go within yourself, which we recommend. Sit with the feeling. Ask yourself, what is this really about? Journal it. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to yell, yell. If you need to weep, weep. But do it in appropriate spaces. Maybe not at the bank or the post office or the market. or Do it in as appropriate places as possible. We like the shower. <laughs> because then we visualize all that old energy just going down the drain. Don't stuff it back inside, however. If you stuff it back inside, what happens is something else will trigger it and it will come out complicated by what has happened before and what's happening right now. So clear out as much as you can. You know, journaling is a wonderful experience. Go into your heart center and work on healing and releasing. I am willing to heal and release whatever this feeling is. I am willing. You know, in holographic healing, we work on a lot of releasement work to get the emotional core out of the body. It's the same thing with triggers and programs and, and the feeling of wanting to put a bag over your head. Remember, <laughs> this too shall pass. This too shall has come up in your energy cellular field to be reckoned with. As an enlightened person or a person that is striving for enlightenment, you get the opportunity to respond a little differently than you might have reacted in the past. So think about how that might be. And remember, this too shall pass.